so <laughs> hello um wow i don't know how to start this video <laughs> hello beautiful people of the internet how are you doing today my name is jackie and welcome to my first ever booktube video <laughs> So today, to introduce you guys to myself and to my brand spanking new channel, I thought I would do the booktube newbie tag. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. And question one in this tag is why did you decide to start a booktube? Well, I don't even know how it was that I found booktube videos originally, but I have been watching them for six to nine months every single day I have watched booktube and it's just become this new obsession for me. I love watching people talk about books, finding people who like the same books, finding new books that I'd never even heard of and thinking, man, I really need to read this now. It sounds like something I would like. So I decided that I wanted to start a booktube channel myself because in real life, I don't have a lot of friends who are readers who read a lot or who like the same kinds of books that I do. So if I read a really good book, I don't have anyone to talk to about it. Or if I read a book and I hate it, I don't have anyone to vent to. So I thought it would be fun to start this channel to talk to people who like books too, and just have an outlet that way to talk about my reading and to find new books. Question two is what fun and unique things can you bring to booktube? Well, other than just my sparkling personality. <laughs> um, I think I read a lot of different genres. I like suspense and thrillers, mysteries. That's my favorite genre, but I've also recently got into fantasy. I am a very new fantasy fan because in my teenage years, I thought for some reason that I didn't like fantasy, even though I had never tried it. I thought fantasy was for guys. I know, I know, I know. Teenage Jackie totally conformed to gender stereotypes. So now I'm discovering that genre for the first time and I just want to read all of the fantasy books now. I will get any one that I can get my hands on, I will read it. I also like historical fiction. I have this obsession with like medieval Britain, which has just been a lifelong interest for me. So hey, if you also have that weird obsession, so do I, and I'll probably be reading books about it. And I also do like to read classic novels because I am an English major in college right now, so I have to read them for class. And I also just genuinely do like reading classic novels. You know, some of them I really like, some of them I don't like so much, but I think it's interesting to see what all the hype is about with classics and see which ones I like, which ones I don't. I also have always my entire life wanted to be a writer, which you could probably tell if you looked at my channel name, like good way to state the obvious, Jackie. And because I have such a lifelong interest in writing and I do wanna write a novel at some point, being a author has been my lifelong dream. That's something that I might also wanna document on this channel. I'm not working on a novel right now just because I am pretty busy with college and I think I need to read more books before I feel like I'm ready to actually write a novel because there's a big difference between writing a fan fiction and writing an actual novel which yeah I've written fan fiction since middle school cuz I'm cool like that <laughs> hmm I don't know if you can hear it but a marching band just started going by outside <laughs> this video is really going off the rails no way you're gonna subscribe to me after watching this <laughs> So basically my whole point with this question, I am totally rambling, is that I read lots of different genres. I'm willing to pick up a book that maybe other people on book two haven't heard of. And I also want to chronicle my writing journey on this channel, maybe do some writing tips. That's something you guys are interested in. So I'm going to try to be a diverse booktuber. Question three is what are you most excited for? I kind of answered this one already. What I'm most excited for is to talk to other people who really like to read and to make new friends on booktube because in real life I don't have a lot of friends who read as much as I do or who like the same kinds of books so I'm really excited to find people who have common interests with me so that we can talk about books and we can talk about what we're reading and recommend books to each other. Question four is why do you love to read? Man there are so many reasons. I think part of it is the fact that I was always and still am very, very shy. It's hard for me to make friends. It's hard for me to talk to people I don't know. So at those points in my life where I was really self-conscious and I felt really lonely, where I didn't have a lot of friends, when I read a book, I could connect with the characters and it was like I had just made a whole bunch of new friends. I also just really love getting immersed into these worlds and to go to places that I could never go to in real life, to different time periods, to fantasy 
fantasy realms. There are things that you can only experience in books that you can't experience in real life and I just love that. I love putting myself in someone else's shoes and I love just escaping my normal everyday life while I'm reading a book. Question number five is what book series got you into reading? I'm gonna mention two right here that I read when I was a child. First is the Great Illustrated Classics series, which this is a series that takes classic novels and they rewrite the story so that's in it's in language that a child can understand accompanied by black and white illustrations. And when I was in elementary school, I would read these all the time. My two absolute favorites in the Great Illustrated Classics series were Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen and Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. So Elizabeth Bennet and Joe March were role models for me growing up. I wanted to be just like them and you know they're still kind of role models for me. I love them. They're badass female characters. I also really liked reading the Nancy Drew series which I think probably contributed to why I like mystery so much now as a 19 year old. I actually really don't know what happened to a lot of my Nancy Drew books. I would really like to start collecting them again just for nostalgia's sake. Six is what questions would you like to ask your favorite booktubers? I want to know how they all managed to find so much time to read. I can probably read about four books a month on average if it's a good month, so about a book a week because I do have a lot of other commitments and then some of these booktubers they can read like nine, ten books in a single month. I mean, I'll watch a booktube video wrap up and the person will be like, oh, this was a bad month for me. I only read seven books, which blows my mind because to me, seven books in a month is a lot. And to you guys, it's nothing. That's an off month. So I just want to know how they find so much time to read and do other things because... Man, I don't know how they do it. I wish that I could read seven books a month. That would be great. <laughs> Next is, what do you think will be the most challenging thing about starting a booktube channel? For me, it's probably the technology aspect. Right now, I don't have a nice camera. I don't have one of those ring lights. I am filming this video on my phone using natural light sitting on the floor of my dorm room so that I can get this tiny little bookshelf in the back. So I know I'm not going to have as visibly nice videos. Wow, I phrased that really awfully. I know my videos are not gonna look as great as some people who have 100,000 subscribers and that's something I just have to accept because right now I'm just starting out and I do want to invest in, you know, some nice lights, a camera at some point, but right now I just really can't afford to do that. So I need to accept that this is what I'm working with and make the best of it. And I just need to figure out how to make the videos look as good as I can with what I've got. Question eight, when did you start to read? Man, I've been reading for as long as I can remember because even before I knew how to read myself, even before I learned how to read, my parents would read a bedtime story to me every single night. So when I was in elementary school, I was reading at an advanced level for my age just because I've always been doing it. I've always been consuming stories for as long as I can remember. So I can't tell you this was the specific first book that I read and I was this age because I just remember that I've always been reading. For me, it's been a lifelong thing for 19 years now. Question nine is where do you read? Well, it depends if I'm reading for school, if I'm reading for pleasure, if I'm reading for school, I'm probably doing it at my desk so I can take notes and do homework that I have associated with the reading. If I'm reading for pleasure, I like to do it at night in my bed, curled up in blankets, in my pajamas, nice, cozy, snuggly with my book. And the last question, question 10, I sort of already answered this, but what book genres do you like to read? Like I said, my absolute favorite genres are mystery, thriller, suspense, that sort of thing. And that's also the kind of author that I want to be when I'm older. I want to write mysteries and thrillers. I also like fantasy, but like I said, I've just started to get into it. So I haven't read that many fantasy series. I'm definitely fantasy deficient compared to other booktubers. I have a lot of catching up to do. Um, I've actually only just started to read Harry Potter, but that's a long story, so don't shame me. I have my reasons, but I'm starting it now and I need to read book three really soon because I'm enjoying it. I also like historical fiction uh, and classics, like I mentioned. So I'll really try any genre if the book itself sounds interesting enough to me. So it really just depends on if I think the book sounds like something I might enjoy. So it's not like a certain genre that I'll never read. I'm willing to give anything a shot at least once. 
So this has been my booktube newbie tag video. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you would like or leave a comment. And please, please, please subscribe to my channel if you want to go on this journey with me. I am super, super excited. Also, if you want to follow me on Tumblr or be my friend on Goodreads, those are linked in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was okay. It was my first booktube video on this channel and I was a wee bit nervous, but I'm really excited to go on this journey with you guys. And thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!